Hello, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 23rd of April. The Sun continues to be in a very prominent part of your situation, along with Venus, the planet of love and attraction. Now, Venus is going to be relocating in the middle of this week into a much more sociable sector. So if you are wanting to make progress in the way you interact and network and raise your profile, it could be through social groups or gatherings that you can have some real success over the next few weeks. Venus, of course, can be terrific too for our romantic aspirations. And the move into Gemini can help you to think more about your long-term future around this very important area of life. But there still continues to be a lot of activity in the sign of Capricorn, which for you is about health, life organisation, work, your responsibilities and obligations to other people. And with Mars and Pluto tightly knotted together, it can be a week of passions, but also frustrations, if it feels that there is too much on your plate. Part of this is coming from the fact that Mercury continues to be in a freedom-loving part of your scope, but is being challenged by Saturn once more. If you cast your mind back, this happened in week two of April. The outcome of this particular aspect, or the influence of it, is really an echo of some of the general energies you've encountered over the last three or four years, where there's been a battle between your need for uh, to be freer and more independent, and also not wanting to let people down or to fulfil the obligations you have. And just finding the right balance could this week continue to be a bit of a challenge, particularly if those demands crowd in. It may see you being quite direct and to the point in a very focused way if you feel you need to defend your position. Mars and Pluto together can see us being ruthless. I have to be honest about it. These are the two rulers of Scorpio, but combined in the sign of Capricorn, which is very much to do with the orthodox side of life. If you're someone who is quite traditional in your outlook, this particular influence can see you wanting to rail against what you see to be changes in society or around you, which you find, frankly, difficult to deal with. But it can also bring out a little bit more of an intolerant streak. So just watch that. Unfortunately, life and all of us are far from perfect. And if something is bugging you, it's going to be important to try not to get overwhelmed by it. Fortunately, Jupiter, the planet of growth, which is in a part of your horoscope to do with home and family, and although tracking backwards, is forging a terrific link with Mars and also Pluto. If you're reforming something in your world for the benefit of not just yourself but others too, some kind of very significant change can take place this week, which can absolutely delight you. But Pluto, the planet of change and transformation, does or has gone into a retrograde now. This retrograde is going to last for five and a half months. So just generally, structurally, there can be some big changes at the very sort of foundation part of your uh, existence when it comes to how you do things, your routines, how you approach things. And becoming more aware of the detail of things could be a big part of this process because Pluto helps us to get beneath the surface and unlock at times even secrets, but also potential and potential for you can grow through a greater awareness of how this marvellous small entity does operate within you. But the sun high in the sky did forge at the end of last week a quarter moon and this was with the moon in your sign. So it's possible that there could be a bit of a tussle this week in some way or another with someone who perhaps just resists your will in some way, or perhaps it's you who's going to be letting someone know that you want to do something that suits you, uh, suits your wider goals and ambitions. So it could be a little, little bit of a tussle there, but I think Venus moving midweek is absolutely delightful and could see, soon see you inviting people around. Some of those people may be quite influential too. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. I'd love it if you would uh, comment or like this video or subscribe to my channel if you've yet to do so. But for now, good luck and goodbye.
Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.